And now we have a plane flying overhead. Alright, so it's been a while since I did any type of tech or computer video on my channel. I've got uh, quite a few different ones on the YouTube channel uh, in the last, I don't know, probably year, year and a half in my search to find the perfect computer, tablet, or whatever I might be looking for at the time for the things that I do at the time. Um, right now, I currently have different needs than I did six months ago. Um, a lot of the same needs, but also uh, some things have changed. Um, one of the things being uh, the camper that we're in that I'm actually filming this video in. Trying to have uh, some type of device that I can use to edit videos and do a lot of things like I would do on my desktop computer to be able to do it in the camper is the whole idea while out out and about and uh, and whatnot. So up until this point, as of last week, I had a laptop with an i5 processor and an iPad Pro. Uh, between those two units, uh, they kind of took care of my mobile needs. Of course, I have a, I have a uh, you know a desktop computer that has you know crazy specs and big graphics card and all that stuff. And that's what I prefer to use when I can or, or most of the time. But uh, again, when I can't use that uh, and I'm on the road, it's it's nice to have something that is going to be as capable as possible. So basically, I got rid of the actual uh, the uh, ThinkPad laptop and the iPad Pro. I sold, I actually put them both up on um, eBay and got rid of, you know, sold them both and was able to uh, pretty much fund uh this purchase here that I that I went with and I'll explain as I'm going through uh, I'm just going to uh, you know there's so many different unboxing videos of this and this has been out for quite some time uh, so there's really no need to do anything specific but uh, this is a Surface Pro 7 uh, this is the matte black I got everything in black black pen black type cover uh, just to kind of keep a you know a nice sleek look on it <clears throat> so I'm pretty excited I've had I've had a couple of Surface Pros in the past I might even have a, a video on the Surface Pro. I don't think it's the 7, maybe the 6 model. I've had the 6, the, you know, all the way down to uh, one of the first ones. Not the very first, uh, the Microsoft Surface that came out before it was considered the Pro unit. I haven't had one of those because it was pretty much useless back then. It was, I think it used Windows NT or whatever, but since they started using real operating systems... This unit, I did get kind of a high spec unit. You know, the, the Surface Pro 7s come with the 10th gen processors. So they have, I believe, an i3, i5, and i7. And then you can get different RAM configurations and uh, SD configurations, uh, SSD configurations. Uh, the most important to me was to get the i7 processor, which does have a fan uh, in it to, to help keep things cool. So it's not going to be super quiet like the i5 model is. Uh, however, I'll give that up for the little better performance as well as the 16 gigabytes of RAM. And of course the phone always goes off. All right, we're back. So as I was saying, i7, 256 gigabyte SSD and uh, 16 gigabyte of RAM. So this is kind of the uh, up version. The only thing that it doesn't have that you could get higher is the uh, SSD, which you can get up to one terabyte. <clears throat> and now we have a plane flying overhead. Unbelievable. Every single time I try to do a video, there's some type of... Give me another couple minutes. Alright, we're back again. I'm going to go ahead and start opening this up and I'll explain my reasoning for purchasing this. Um, I, Like I said, I went and replaced the uh, laptop and tablet and I'm trying to kind of have one device that takes care of both of my needs. Uh, the reason I don't have a Mac anymore as far as a laptop goes is because I use uh, HP tuners I also use uh, vinyl master for my vinyl cutting software as well as there's a couple other uh, Windows programs that I use that needs Windows to run and 
yes, I can have a MacBook and I can put boot camp and have Windows run on that uh, and take care of those needs. But uh, the MacBook A is bigger to carry around than this is. It's not a touchscreen laptop. It doesn't have a pen for taking notes, uh, so on and so forth. This is just a lot more portable and something that uh, will be able to kind of take care of a wider spectrum of what I need to do. So <clears throat> my needs are minor video editing, uh, just 1080p that I put up on this channel here. I want to be able to do that, which is one of the reasons that I got the i7 with the 16 gigabytes of RAM. I found with Windows 10, Windows has come a long way in the last, you know, since Windows 10 has come out and it, it's, you know, a really good operating system compared to how it was, you know, back, uh, you know, the X XP, Windows 7, all that stuff. I kind of got away from it and went to Mac for a while and came back to Windows for the most part. But I do find that 16 gigabytes of RAM does make a difference running Windows nowadays. I don't know what it is. 8 gigabytes is sufficient. It does uh, run it okay. But I do find just a little bit less stutter and a little smoother in the operating system, uh, a little quicker with loading, kind of just everything. The whole operating system is a little bit snappier with the 16 gigabytes of RAM as opposed to the 8 gigabytes. So I'm, I'm pretty much, you know, I want this to be a device that I, I use on a daily basis. I use all the time and I don't get aggravated with it. I actually enjoy using it. So that's the, the whole idea. And uh, so I, I did upspec it a little bit for that for that reason. So my video editing I can do right on this. Uh, it's got a quad core processor. It's got plenty of RAM. You know, again, it's not going to be as good as a desktop computer, but it's going to be as good as most laptops that you buy nowadays. Uh, so I can take care of that. I can also uh, run the business, the landscaping business on it. Do my billing. Uh, I can run, you know, yard books where I'm going to have a mouse keyboard, you know, or trackpad and keyboard or mouse also to be able to bill and, you know, go through my calendar and kind of take care of that efficiently with, you know, having a cursor, not just a touch screen. I'm also able to, with the pen, I'm able to take notes, uh, you know, on the go if I need to jot down a quick note, click the button, open up OneNote or, you know, uh, Microsoft, uh, what is it, uh, Whiteboard, I think, is the, the app that they use for notes. And I'm able to do that. So basically, this should take care of... Uh, and it'll also do some, some gaming as well. You could actually, if you want to run some some minor games on 720p, uh, no problem. This actually does pretty well with that. And uh, I don't do that often, but every once in a while, it's nice to play a little shoot 'em up game or maybe a flight simulator or something like that. So this device will do all of that in one small package. Uh, they're not cheap. But uh, like I said, I sold the laptop as well as the iPad Pro that I had. I had an iPad Pro 12 inch with the cellular and all that. I find that I mostly just tether right off of my phone anyways. Even though it had the cellular, I still just kind of connected through my phone, which is the same I can do with this. I don't really need the cellular. So, you know, it would have been nice as an option to have. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to be fine without it. I'm just, like I said, just going to tether off the phone. I'm probably going to get a hot, uh, a dedicated hotspot for inside this camper for when we do go camping. I do plan on visiting a lot of places, uh, over the winter and the off season. And this is the only unit that I'm going to bring with me for everything. Obviously I'm not going to have a desktop computer in the camper. So this needs to be capable enough to be able to do basically everything I need. And I could not find another device that would do all of that as portable full function pretty much without sacrifice as this unit and that's why i chose it so i'm gonna go ahead and get to opening it up get it started up <clears throat> just in a simple plastic wrap just kind of has some uh shows you where all the ports and buttons are nothing fancy let pull that off like you see as i said i got the uh I got the black. The lighting's probably horrible in here. When I started this video, it was a little brighter out. <clears throat> Sorry about that, but this is going to be a fingerprint magnet, as I know. This has the uh, kickstand. Got your SD card slot right here, which is nice when I want to import uh, footage from the GoPro. And then uh, just got some quick start guide, and this will be your power brick. I already have from my last Surface Pro, I have a Surface Pro connector on one end with a USB-C 
on the other end that I use for charging in the truck and I've got a pretty heavy duty charger in there so I'm able to plug this in and uh, charge especially if I'm on the road driving be a good time to charge this puppy up and not use any of the camper power uh, be able to charge it in the truck through the uh, through the battery so just your regular power block you got a USB connector there if you want to charge some other devices so that's nice there I'll go ahead and start this up while we're waiting put that away Go ahead and get the keyboard out. There's a area here to think that Cortana voice is gonna kick in any second. I'm gonna mute that with the quickness. Nothing fancy here. This is just your uh, keyboard slash type cover. Got your uh, trackpad on here. Now this hasn't changed for, I think, quite a few uh, Surface Pro generations. I think the last three have used the same, the same cover. So that just magnetically connects on the bottom here. And now you've got, let me go ahead and shut that off. Now you've got a laptop with a keyboard that you can change your angles. Bring it way down here. And you're able to fold it up into one very, very small package, which is really nice. Most of the people watching us, I'm sure you've seen this before. This is certainly nothing new. This has been out for quite a while, but maybe it's somebody that uh, you haven't really looked into tech recently and you're considering maybe upgrading now that we're spending a lot more time at home and leisure time. This might be something you want to consider picking up. They should be going on sale pretty soon because the the newer Microsoft products are coming out soon. They just introduced a couple. They haven't introduced the, the latest Surface Pro yet, but I'm sure that'll be coming before too long. But you might say this may be a, not a good time to buy one of these, but if it does go on sale anytime soon, you'll still be able to get your money back, whatever the sale price goes to. Now this will magnetically connect right to the side. So you've got uh, everything you need right here. You've got a touch face tablet or touch screen tablet with a pen that you can take notes. You've got a, basically a full laptop set up with your mouse and keyboard and you can disconnect it and use it with the built in stand. You could use it just for watching YouTube or movies or whatever you want. And uh, like I said, there's not many devices that do all of that and do it all well as this does. So, but yeah, just wanted to show you my <clears throat> my idea and uh, reasoning behind why I chose this. I'm gonna go ahead and get this all set up and get my software going. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention: uh, one of the big things that has been holding me back from switching over completely to Windows, like I am now, was uh, Final Cut Pro. 10 is the editing software that I've been using for quite some time and uh, it's it's Mac only it's it's not on the it's not on Windows uh, I did find uh, I've I've tried what is it uh, Adobe uh, Adobe Premiere Pro it's all right uh, there is a, a learning curve uh, you know it's a lot of it's similar to uh, you know, Final Cut Pro, a lot of it isn't. It's kind of, you know, two different ball games. Uh, you know, they're both like, it's like Coke and Pepsi. They're both sodas, but they have their own uniqueness to them. And where I'm so much used to uh, Final Cut, just to make the switch to Premiere, is, which is also a, uh, Premiere Pro is also a subscription. Now, you can't just buy the software outright, which is another thing that I wanted to do. Final Cut Pro, it's $299. You buy it, you're done. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, and the pr premiere, I believe, is like $30 a month for the plan that you need to subscribe to. Or I think they have a, a yearly rate, too. But anyways, <clears throat> what I ended up finding is a program called uh, Filmora 9, F-I-L-M-O-R-A 9, which is a uh, really good uh, editing software for video uh, production that is very similar, in my opinion, to um, the Final Cut Pro that I'm used to. 
I was able to jump in and, and pretty much figure out 95% of it without even having to look up, you know, any tutorials or anything. Most of it's the same. The layout's pretty pretty much the same. It's it's very, very similar. So if you're looking for a Windows video editing software and you're used to Final Cut, that finding that software was the one difference that's allowing me to switch over to uh, Windows full time to be able to do vi video editing just by having that software. They also have a subscription model. I believe it's uh, you can do yearly. I think it's annually. It's forty dollars or something, and then you can buy it outright for like sixty nine. Uh, so I I did the annual, which is just one full year. I think it was thirty nine. I actually think I had a coupon on. I think it was twenty nine dollars. If you have Honey, the uh, the little browser extension for Chrome, they added in a coupon that saved uh, ten dollars off. So I think, it, like I said, it was like twenty nine dollars for the year, and I did pay for it. You can know, there's also a free version you can try out, but there's you know uh, watermarks on it. So I did pay for it, and I have it for the next year. And in a year, if I'm continuing to use it, like I believe that I will be, I'll just buy it outright for the sixty nine bucks or whatever it is at that point. Or if there's an upgraded version, I'll purchase that at that point. So, which is better than the monthly subscription that the um, Adobe Premiere is, which is uh, another thing that I liked about it. So, having that allows me to video edit on the road with this uh, with this tablet uh, without a problem. Especially that I'm only doing 1080p. I'm not doing 4K. You could do 4K, and this is just going to take you a little bit longer. Your uploads are going to take longer. Uh, being out on the road uh, during this off season, you know, different places, I'm not going to have the greatest of Wi-Fi, so I'm just going to stick with 10, 1080p content for now anyways. I might film it in 4K and downsize it and then just upload it to, to, to 1080. We'll see how that goes. But again, this will be my uh, kind of do everything uh, tablet to have. You can kind of set it up wherever I am on the go. And it's very capable. So if you're considering that, I'll uh, probably do an update in another couple of months and let you know how it's working out. I'll have all my software installed and how I'm using it on a daily basis. I plan on kind of carrying it with me wherever I go in the truck, going to work. Uh, probably going to put a skin or something on it just to protect it from getting banged around. But And uh, that should take care of all my needs. Hopefully you uh, found something, got some info out of this. Uh, this is just kind of an unboxing setup over here. These I'll throw, uh, throw up in the attic. Don't really need them kicking around. There's nothing else in the boxes. This is all I need to, to travel with is just that and this here. All right, guys, have a good one. Thanks for watching.